Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Eye Exotics. Well, <laughs> I'm trying it, struggling very muchly, trying to get this castle video sorted and set up. Uh, I, while I was filming it, this phone played up and died. Uh, so I had to use Laura's phone and stuff like that. So, and for the life of me, I can't get this information off Laura's phone, these videos, onto this phone or anything like that. So, and I've moved the computer as well. So. I've still got, I've got to set that all up and build that up, so whether I get a video up today, I don't know, but I'm trying my best for you, uh, and I don't know when I'm gonna get this castle video on, but I'm gonna try my best for you and get it on ASAP. Jobs for today though, we need, we've got two big jobs today, two big jobs today. So we need to do water changes on my two biggest fish tanks. We gotta do piranhas, because they're eating bigger and bigger meat items, and they're leaving more and more mess behind. So there's, there's a mouse graveyard down there now of skeletons. So we need that out. Uh, and my big, big six footer. Since we put the plecos and stuff like that in there, they have been messing it up all because they go around and they eat the wood. Uh, and it just makes a big mess. So we've got to go around, we've got to siphon a lot of that out, freshen it all up. So we've got to do the big six foot tank today and we've got to do the piranha tank today. So that's gonna be our big jobs. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. We haven't done big jobs for a while. We've just been doing animal stuff. So back to the jobbos. And uh, so yeah, we crack on. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. Let's crack on with the day. No delivery today, because it was bank holiday Monday for the Queen. We thought, rest in peace. And then uh, that's why there's no delivery, because they didn't do anything yesterday. Okay, so I believe the six footer is gonna be the easiest one to do uh, because I haven't got to make the crazy siphon like we did last time. So what I'm after is all this dirt on the bottom. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. All this on the bottom. So this is all broken down bits of wood from our plecos. So we've got a big one there. We've got a big albino one there as well. So. They've been eating the logs, that's what she's doing now. She's eating the wood and stuff like that. And then they produce all this wood poo, basically. Um, so we're gonna have to go around, siphon as much of this out as we can, freshen it all up, and then we can jump on the piranha tank then. Tank, same sort of thing. We got our, our bone yard at the bottom. She's got all this piles of bits and bobs and bones and scat and tails and stuff so we need to get all this out as much as possible to make sure we're not and that's what happens as well it blocks them up which then raises the water level too high and then drains our sump too much so we have to make sure it's all nice and clean so we can do a better job and everything so I'm gonna have to just wipe them off now so the tank doesn't, because it's been getting higher and higher throughout the day. Yeah, slowly getting higher and higher. So I'm gonna have to do that first. Quickly scrape them off so the water level drops and then we jump onto that one. At the moment, you can see the water is touching the glass at those top panels. So if I scrape these off now, I'm sorry, the lid's closing on me. So we're gonna go all the way down and just scrape these clean. There we go, there's one. There's two. And then the water level's slowly gonna drop now so we can't see any of this glass. Got my siphon, I got the big bucket. I'm not gonna turn the system off, I think I'm gonna be okay because I shouldn't be taking too much water out. And I'll, my intake is right down there, so it's all the way down at the bottom. There it is. So. As long as I don't go below that, I'm all sweet. I'm not going to go that low because it would scare all the fishes. So we're going to start off with opening as much as I can. 
So we're gonna get down there and we're gonna get all this nasty. So I've got nowhere to put you, but I'm gonna try and do something with my stand over here. So maybe you can, oh, I might be able to do it, something over here. That ain't too bad. I think you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna get this started. I'm not gonna show you all of it because it could be a little bit boring, but you'll be able to see a lot of this come up that pipe. Bit of a mess, but so we're just gonna slowly lower this down over the wall, over the sand. We don't really want to suck up the sand though, so ah, oh, gents me foot. It's hard because I can't look where I'm pointing it. There we go. It's a little bit awkward with the sand because you can't really siphon the tank. And all the nasties just want to sit on top. And being it's wood flakes and chunks, it's a little bit dense. So half the time it doesn't want to fall up. Right, fall up, get sucked up. Um, we're nice and steady. And nice and slow, so it gives it plenty of time to go up and be sucked down the pipe and where we want it to go. So that's that one bit. We're going to let everything fall out. There we go. So I've done that one. I'm going to put you on time lapse, a bit further away so you can watch me blah, 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 and do it all. And then we've got to do the piranhas. We've got some new holiday animals as well, so I will show you them as well in between just to spice it up a bit. We've done a good job there. We haven't got all... I swear more's come. I cleaned all this. It's all come back. I thought I did a good job on that. Yeah. I've just, I literally done this and it was spotless. Unless the flow, because I've lowered it down, the flow is a bit more violent and it's pushed more out. Oh, that's not, I'm not happy with this now. I'm not gonna do it again, I'm gonna save it for another time because we've got other things we need to do. We need to do the piranha tank and I am running out of time. Um, because I've just been busy today, loads of customers and stuff, so it was hard to get going this morning. It was a tired Alex. So I will do the, quickly show you the holiday animal and then I'm gonna jump in, make that big siphon again and do the piranhas. Okay, so up here, we have our new arrival. Oh, he's hiding a little bit. Hey buddy. He's hiding behind the vine. Come on, buddy. Oh. Hey. Hey, mate. It's okay. You're okay, buddy. I think he's got his mouth open a bit. Hey. Oh, he is. You're all right, mate. You want some food? Oh, he's not happy. He's not happy. He's a lovely pamper chameleon. They said he's very, very aggressive. He doesn't like being messed around within the viv and stuff like that. But look at the patterns on him. Absolutely beautiful. We're not gonna do anything, mate. Promise. Whoa. Sorry, mate. We're not gonna do anything to you, I promise. See if we can get some locusts. I'm gonna see if we can just try. Maybe just sitting in with our arm in the tank for a little bit and let him realize and let him relax that we're not gonna actually do anything to him. No one wants it. Because the problem is, he's not having the best life. Because he's stressed out and scared all the time, he's not happy when he's in the viv. If we could get him a little bit more settled down, a little bit more happy with being around people, he'd have a much happier life. Um, so that's what we're gonna try and do. Hey, hey darling. Oh, her nose is cleared up nice. Hey, darling. Hey, beautiful. Oh, that's, that's cleared up lovely. Nice clean. Ah! What was that for? <laughs> you silly Billy, headbutt in the phone. So yeah, she's doing really well, I'm happy with that. We've got big locusts coming in tomorrow. There's a bank holiday, nobody sent nothing out. So we've got nothing today, big enough. Well, I've got no adults anyway, so that's what I like giving her adults. Um, 
don't think he's going to eat now anyway because he's in protective mode. So we leave him now. We'll do the piranha. Took the Hoover apart, and I've got the big pipe again. So now we need to add the big hose onto this. So then we can siphon it off into the bucket. Uh, it's going to be awkward again. It's just a pain in the bum. But we're going to try our best to get all the skeletons out of the closet or the tank, basically. <laughs> I've got it, hopefully it's the right one. I've sworn this went over this. Ah, uh, I know what we use, different pipe. It wasn't, we put this in there and then we taped it all to seal it, that's what we did. Just like this. So we should be able to get a nice tight seal. And then we can go around and do some sucking and get all that nasties out. Keep our piranhas nice and happy. There we go, that's going to give us a nice tight seal on that. Keep going around. That's us done. Lovely. Let's start sucking on the piranha tank. So set you up like this, you'll be able to watch the siphon. I hopefully we'll be able to do it. Of course, I've only ever done this once before, so we'll try our best. Okay, so I've got to get this in the water. Now I've got to try and suck this end and get the flow going, is the idea. And then hold this in there while I get as much as I can out. Okay, so we're going to slide this down. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because if I let the flow go back down into it it's going to come out and move all this around and i don't want that so i'm going to hold it away and then get that first little bit of water flowing no it wants to all right see what it's done stirred it all up i didn't want that to happen I've got to drain this now. This is all water in it, I think. It's very awkward to do. So I've got to get the water out of this pipe now so I can start siphoning it again. There we go. Okay, start again. Fresh suck. Oh, again! How come it's not working this time? Got it to work before! Let me try again. It's like going on its own, okay? Go around, let's get as much as we can. Okay, quick, 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 so we're going to overflow. Okay, that's all I can do, that's all I can do. Oh my god. That was close. That was a pain in the bum to get to siphon again. In the end, I used its own flow to do it. Um, okay, let's show you what happened. Part of that now is all gone. I'm really happy about that. So we've got to watch it though because it's going to start making funny noises so I haven't turned it off. How close I was to overflowing. Woo wee! Definitely going to have to sort something else out because I ingested way too much piranha water then trying to get that going. Um, so I've turned it all off now. So all I've got to do is put the fresh water in so I'll get the hose to top it all up. I'm dying for a wee. Oh, uh, drain that off, top it all up. Ready to go, both jobs done. Now we've got to top everybody up. So we're going to grab the hosey. We're going to stick the tap end, which is wibbling around everywhere. Tap end on the tap, as you do, like so. Then we're going to go to this. It's all tangled. Doesn't help me at all. Got it. It's terrible. It's all tangled. We're just going to go and see what happens. No bang or crash. We did well. We did well. 
So we've got to fill this one up until the sump's full. So even though we've only got a tiny bit, so it looks deceiving. We've took more water out than it looks like. Um, because what's happened is uh, it's drained a lot of water out of the sump. Because this only, it has to get, it won't drop lower than this level, basically, because that's where the pipe is that it overflows into. Um, but what we were doing, while it was turned on, and we were taking water out of here, the sump's been topping it back up, so we've drained the sump quite a lot. All the way down there, and the minimum is here, so we can't really turn it on until we get it about up here. Um, so we're gonna fill this up, technically overflow it, so it fills this up for us till about probably halfway. Go. Okay. I'm off turn that on a bit too much. No kinks, any kinks? Oh, I can hear it going. What's it doing? Spraying me, that's what it's doing. Okay, that's a bit too much flow. We'll back it off. It's a bit better. Got no over spray now. See? Lovely. Still pretty violent, but it's only at this top area. The piranhas are down behind the wood at the moment. So we're gonna wait now until we're at the overflow point. So we've got to fill in there, and then the water goes down this. Can you see? There it is. Yeah. So we put that back down. And then the flow should go down there. It won't be long now and we should be starting to fill this bad boy up. We're coming up. That's coming up a bit quick. So once it gets past that line, lowest water level while running. Then I can switch it off and it's gonna carry on filling for a little bit until it settles. Oh, we're on the pump, we're on the sponges just about. It'd be nice to get it reasonably high to be fair. But that's the highest point while pumps in operation. So we'll have to turn it on and hopefully the water's only at that level, really. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off and then we'll see how much it backflows. Turn it off. Take that out. Ha! Ah, that looked too bad. It's still going, still going. We're right there. Stop it. Slowing down now. So I think we switch it on, see what happens. Whoop. Lights are come on. Pumps are going. Oh, it's draining. Might have to put more water in if it drains too much. Stop. Stop. We're there now. Uh, we've gone below that again. Yeah, we're going to take most of this water out, I think. Well, I know, I've only got to fill it up a little bit more and that's going to be us done for that one. I'm really happy, it's done really well. It's come up just as much as I wanted. It's dropped down about that much now, so I'm going to go turn the hose on a bit more, finish it off, and then I'll show you when I'm all done. We've got this one, actually, it has cleaned up quite a bit. When you look, there's, I mean, there's little bits that have gathered because of the flow, but a lot of the areas are now nice and clean, so I'm happy about that. Um, I'm still gonna top this one up a little bit, but I think I'm gonna leave it to tomorrow because I wanna do a filter clean on it as well. Um, so I'm gonna leave that till tomorrow and I can do a big filter clean on it as well. We've got the piranhas, still a little bit skitty, so they're right down the bottom hiding away. There they are. But I'm happy with that, nice and clean. We've got rid of the, the uh, piranha skeleton boneyard. 
which was quite important because it's going to start getting funky after a bit. So the the, uh, the bone yard is now gone. Uh, so I'm happy about that. So a bit different, a bit more of a jobby video because I haven't been doing many jobby ones. I've been doing more animal ones lately. Uh, but I thought, you know what I mean, we're going to do a jobby one today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. Uh, if you want to watch a new video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help us in the future and stuff like that, you can join the tribe or get yourself some Snake Island merch. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the future. Bye.